Whenever we use oil or coal or natural gas to make our electric, every time we do that using fossil fuels, we're polluting the earth. And so what's a better way to make electricity? Use renewable energy. Use renewable energy. So we are standing right over here in the space where the farm is going to be. There's going to be an orchard. There's going to be vegetables. We might even have some sunflowers. And it will all be grown as part of our community and in really healthy, organic ways. SUNY Sullivan is a college that truly values sustainability. It's part of our DNA. Earth Day is one of our most important days of the year. Today is really special because today, in addition to lots of celebrations and tree plantings and a lot of vendors who come to teach us about being good stewards of the environment, we have 200 fifth graders on campus. A couple of years ago, we were contacted by a fifth grade teacher uh, who asked us if we would consider hosting a fifth grade field trip on campus. And we got really excited about it. To do this field trip, and this time is extra exciting. It's happening on our Earth Day Festival here on campus, and we are hosting every single fifth grader from the Monticello School District. That's over 200 kids. We're starting a three acre uh, sustainable farm uh, based in permaculture. So uh, we'll be working with the earth and the earth's energy. So we're going to be uh, putting in uh, the first year uh, intensive vegetable gardens for the first zone, then we'll be going to uh, perennial uh, fruits in the second uh, second zone, and that'll be raspberries, blackberries, kiwis, hardy kiwis, and then the third zone, uh, that's the farthest in the distance, is uh, going to be an apple orchard and a fruit orchard. So in the next, uh, should be a three-year process to get um, everything uh, basically self-watering, so we won't have to have uh, used groundwater for uh, we're going to be, uh, at least for the first year, we're going to be growing food for the culinary pro uh, program here. So they've given us a list of different vegetables and fruits that they're looking for. You know, the, the students or the uh, professors can buy into the CSA, and along with New Hope's uh, employees and individuals can buy into the CSA and then be supplied with uh, vegetables. 